What's up ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'm going to introduce you to another Battlefield competitor, and no, it is not Delta Force. This is a completely different game. The game is called War Dogs, and it is being developed by Bulkhead Games, who made games that you might recognize such as Battalion 1944. This video is essentially just meant to introduce you to the game and its existence because I don't see many people talking about it, but recently they've been ramping up the fact that they do exist, which makes me think they're going to release some sort of playtest pretty soon. So, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out my second channel, which revolves around fragrances, as well as check out my streams. All links are in the description. So, what is this War Dogs? Well, apparently it's been being developed for about two years now by Bulkhead Studios, and it is definitely a Battlefield competitor, but it's going to be a different take on the Battlefield-style all-out warfare genre. A bit later in the video, I'm going to be detailing a trailer that they have on their website, as well as going over some concept art, but this is how they describe War Dogs, and this is taken directly from their website. Quote, War Dogs rewrites the rules of all-out warfare. Three teams conflict over land, sea, and air to seize and secure a dynamic 100-player battlefield, where every tactical decision, team play action, and risk gets rewarded. Even this very small paragraph has some very large takeaways. The most obvious being three teams, three team battlefield, and of course 100 players. So the first question that popped into my mind was, how are they going to divide the teams if it's 100 players with three teams? Does that mean it's just, you know, 99 players technically and there's 33 players per team? Or is one team going to have one extra player? I'm not sure how I feel about a three-team Battlefield game. It could turn into getting third-party a lot, but I don't know. It is definitely an interesting concept, and it is not something that has been done before in the combined arms genre, to my knowledge. And then, of course, touching on 100 players, this is nothing new. You know, Battlefield 2042 tried 128 players. We'll see how this game executes a higher player count, hopefully a little better or significantly better than Battlefield 2042 did, because uh, if they don't, well, I think we can see how that will go. Taking a look at some of the concept art here, you can clearly see they're going for exactly what Battlefield players wanted out of the last few Battlefield installments, but we perhaps didn't get it. This is a very dark, eerie, gritty, war-torn feel for a lot of these, I assume they're map concept arts. Uh, this really does remind me of some areas in Escape from Tarkov, maybe even hinting at the design slash grit of Hunt Showdown, if you guys know what that game is. It sort of has a really dark, gritty art style. Uh, maybe also hinting at DayZ a bit. Looks like a lot of outdoor areas, looks like a lot of gritty sort of destroyed refineries and steel plants and warehouses, that sort of feel. So I do think this is a significantly better aesthetic than even Delta Force has, uh, and I think this will satisfy a lot of people if the game actually truly does look like this and provides decent gameplay. The next thing I wanted to go over is this video they have constantly playing in the background of their website. It shows them playtesting the game in the studio, coding the game, testing weapons. Their Twitter seems to emphasize testing things in real life and trying to animate them in game like their real life counterparts. And uh, I just want to pause and take a look at some of these freeze frames of the gameplay just to try to get some more information. The first one of this AK here just sort of shows you a little bit of what the game is like verticality-wise. He's up on this building, there's a big ladder, it kind of reminds me of Zavod a little bit, and in the bottom left-hand corner, it does show three teams very clearly. There's a blue team, red team, and a green team, and uh, yeah, I'm just really interested to see how that actually plays out. Here's something that's a lot more interesting. If you look at the bottom right-hand corner of this screenshot, you can see what appears to be a squad with seven players in it, eight players, or perhaps that is the capacity of the vehicle. Either way, that's pretty interesting because not only would the vehicle have a significantly higher transport capacity than Battlefield vehicles, but if that is the squad menu, then this game having eight-person squads along with three teams fighting on the same battlefield would be... I don't even know how that's going to play out because then you would have what... 33 or 34 people per team, and then you would have eight-man squads. I mean, that obviously, it's not divisible. That doesn't really work out very well. So I'm kind of interested to see how they will approach the squad size in this game. 
Here's a screenshot that will give you an idea of the general size and scale of some of these maps. As you can see, at least from this perspective, this map looks to be fairly huge. And if you look in the upper left-hand corner, this is a fairly recent build from June 12th, 2024. So this build is five months old, obviously, because they play test quite a bit. On their Twitter, they say they play test every single day at 3 p.m. Uh, I expect the build of the game to be significantly more updated and perhaps even look different than this. And then similarly in this screenshot, uh, you also see the scale of these maps, but also take a look at how dense the forest area is. We've had forest maps in Battlefield games before, but if you look at how dense this forest is, we've never had anything that resembles that. So I'm really interested to see if this is actually a playable infantry area, or if this helicopter is just like hovering out of bounds somewhere, because that dense of a forest will make for really, really strange and just very chaotic combat. So let me know in the comment section, just based off these really, really early first looks, do you think this game is better than Delta Force, uh, at least art style wise, concept wise? What do you guys think of the 100 players? What do you guys think about the fact that there's going to be more than just two teams? There's going to be three teams vying for map control. And what do you guys think of the general concept art and just the way the game looks? Because me personally, I can probably predict that you guys are going to like this game a little more than Delta Force, at least art wise. It's darker, grittier, more realistic. And I'm not entirely sure if realism is what this developer is going for because, you know, they do try to emphasize that they're testing real weapons and trying to keep them in the office so people can animate them correctly. But as far as how far that is going to affect the actual quote unquote realism of the game, we'll have to wait. But I, for one, am just happy to see that competitors are finally realizing that EA and DICE are just vulnerable, okay? Battlefield's player base is up for the taking, and finally, there are some people trying to compete and vie for their, uh, the Battlefield player base's attention. Because frankly, Battlefield doesn't deserve your attention much anymore, does it, ladies and gentlemen? With what they did with Battlefield 5, what they did with Battlefield 2042, I've been saying this for years, they have to win us back. And I'm happy to see other competitors trying to win us over and switch us off of Battlefield. The question is, can Delta Force actually do that? Can War Dogs manage to do that? And will these games even be games that are relevant at all? Can they keep up with the absolute massive funding of EA, that developer powerhouse that they have under their belt? So certainly interesting times. I do hope War Dogs announces some sort of playtest or early access stint for this game soon because, I, again, similarly with Delta Force, there is great timing right now. Battlefield has absolutely nothing to throw at these developers. It is wide open for the taking, and uh, basically they should showcase their stuff now before it's too late. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching and taking the time out of your day to watch the videos. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, and of course, follow the streams, guys. I've been playing Battlefield 1. I know things are boring. I mean, I've been trying to play different games here and there just to keep you guys entertained. I might go against what I said and try to play BF5, but you guys know that game pretty much just aimbot or heaven, even after the anti-cheat. At least that's what I'm hearing. So we'll have to see. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Hier, Munition für dich!